Hey, my community, Jeff here again on this dreary day when it's all overcast and rainy outside and the lighting is not that great in here. But let's get into this. There are a couple albums that just came out, dropped out on vinyl. The CD's been out for a while, but they dropped on vinyl. Um, I actually, was one of those things where, you know, you pre-order it, you saw that they were announced by a company that was going to put them out on vinyl and you're like excited and you pre-order them. And then it's like, wow, they were like already so close to become, becoming available that you didn't have to wait long. Sometimes you get those pre-orders and it's like a month or two or three, but anyway. Um, I am talking about the band Flood, which you may not be as familiar with because they are a fairly new band. Now, um, I did, last year they came out with a CD. I definitely bought it. And then they came out this a couple months ago with the second CD. And so you might remember I showed them back when these came out. But Flood is made up of some of the Two of the founding members of the band Tourniquet from their first three albums. So you've got when you when it comes to Tourniquet, which you know they're a thrashy band. They've got their technical metal, I think, is what I like to call them, sort of kind of. Their thinking man's metal. They got lyrics that are interesting, and um, they the first three albums had a singer, do a, a you know two singers actually uh, that played off of each other. Which so you had to kind of a the typical somewhat clean vocalist and then you had the more of the aggressive vocalist and so you had that sound the tourniquet sound in the first three albums was made by these two founding members then the singer moved on and left and they got a new singer and so it did change the sound a little bit and they continued to put out stellar stuff after that but for those people who really enjoyed the original classic sound of the first three albums with guy ritter on vocals he has resurfaced now he did some stuff after tourniquet um that I'd love to see on vinyl too, but um, you know, the uh, basically disappeared for a while and now he's back and Gary uh, has done a lot of other things too and now he's back and so they got together and of course they got together and it has kind of resurrected that kind of a early tourniquet sound which for those of us who really enjoyed that was really great they also got an eric mendez who was on the first tourniquet album in the band after it was recorded so he was a member of tourniquet uh for a while on in the early years uh but now he's he was back too and then they've got uh, i don't know the david husvik and anna centina are accompanying them on here so it, if you close your eyes at times you might think that it's you know the, the drummer does a great job you know ted kirkpatrick was the heart and soul of tourniquet he made the sound he wrote a lot of the songs his drumming style was phenomenal he was amazing drummer um so it's really hard to replicate that sound but um they come real close to you know you could almost think this was just a tourniquet album so those cds came out i just played them to death and now bombworks records has dropped vinyl releases of this they are limited run vinyl which means there's probably only a few press i say few probably few hundred a couple hundred um insert they are on in color this is red so check them out if you are into if into tourniquet if you're not understanding what that means because tourniquet was you know a they had they had they had some pretty good stuff. They were produced by Bill Matoya from like you know all the Metal Blade album bands and stuff. So they had a lot of you know oomph behind them a lot of times. So you may have been familiar with them. But check out Flood and then the second album also dropped on vinyl. Now this time around they do have a different guitar player. Eric is not there, but it is still the other four people. Um, it's on green, and you still have that sound. It's just the next step forward. I think it's just they're still doing it it's still sounding great so yeah grab them while you can the cds are still available out there too these were made main, mainly by the band so they're on a different label um but you can still find those online but the vinyl has dropped and that is exciting to those of us big into vinyl so um i just don't know what else to say about this band it's just i love i love uh guy's vocal approach he was just such a cool approach now on the first tourniquet album his he went with the more of a falsetto sound and he was very much compared to king diamond now at the time i heard the first tourniquet album i had not really listened to king diamond merciful fate so i wasn't getting that comparison that was a band that i wasn't familiar with 
But then I later in years heard it, and I thought, okay, I can see the comparison. He doesn't do that here. He's you know because like on the second and third tourniquet album, he kind of had gone away from that style too. First tourniquet album, still one of my favorites. When he does that, I love that. But uh, this is more of the second and third tourniquet styling vocals. Um, so great stuff. Check it out. Look them up. Grab them while you can. And that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.